everybody. I am browning, finishing up browning up some meat that I am going to use to make my crock pot, kid friendly crock pot chili, which is over here. I have already added one can of uh, drained and rinsed kidney beans. So this is just about done. Oop. All right, what you guys didn't see was I added my bone broth that I had made uh, a couple weeks ago. I took it out of the freezer um, last night. My camera memory was full, so I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And then I added a second can of my kidney beans. I drained and rinsed them before adding them into my crock pot. Now I'm going to go ahead and add my spices. I also used ketchup, which is an all-natural ketchup. Um, if you don't have any digestive issues or not sensitive to any tomato sauce, canned tomato sauces, you can go ahead and substitute tomato sauce for the ketchup. Uh, remember, this is also kid-friendly, so you want the kids to eat it. The spices that I used were chili powder, garlic powder, onion powder, paprika, seasoned salt, celery salt, and black pepper. I do not have celery salt. I do have some celery stalks that I had chopped and put them in the freezer for my bone broth. So I'm just going to go ahead and set these on top once everything is mixed in to give it that celery flavor and then I can pull them off the chili. And that's it. Very easy. Add some cheese on top. Kids like it. Very kid friendly. I will link the recipe and my quick little video that I made for my crock pot chili, kid friendly chili, um, below so you guys can check that out. Buddy. Here's Pepper. And here's Duke. So Duke isn't feeling so great right now. He's got a mast cell tumor on his side over there. And it's leaking. So we are on our way to the vet to go get him some more medicine and um, get him feeling better and help drain, you know, shrink his tumor um, so he can feel better. So that's where we're going. All right, we'll be back, buddy. We'll be back. He's a good boy. You good boy. <laughs>
So we have. Um, it's okay. We're fine. So we're starting the steroids over the tapering dose. Um, where you do the twice a day and then the once a day and then the every other day. Okay. So as those start to come to an end, if he's doing well on the one and a half tablets every other day, that will keep him on that. So don't let him run out completely. We can refill them and she gave you a bunch. These two, last time we were able to give you a, a cephalexin in the proper size, but they're on, they're on back order. So now we need to have... Um, one capsule of a 500 and one capsule of a 250. So one of each of these twice a day. Okay. They're the same thing, just a different milligram, and he needs 750 because he's at a, he's too small for two of these okay. and too big for one. Right. So of these forever. Okay. Okay. And then continue with the Benadryl. And then continue with the Benadryl. Thank <laughs> you. 